Hi everyone, I'm Joshua. I'm super excited to share this case with you. This was an 8-year-old boy with an impacted 1-1. His 1-1 was actually going toward his nostril. Yes, once again, another nostril digging surgery. Now, the direction of this impacted 1-1 was totally different from the 2-1. What worried me the most was that there was no cortic bone below it. The root looked like it was about to bend against the bone. This was definitely a tough case to manage. During surgery, I lift the flap and expose the parietal surface of the 1-1. What did I find? Only soft tissue below it. No bone for a mini screw. So instead, I attached two boundable eyelets on the parietal surface of the tooth. Boundable eyelets are these little circles. I attached two for double insurance. Next, I bent a wire and fixed it to the adjacent tooth, leaving a small helix just above the crest. Since the eyelets were on the parietal side, I want to make sure the pulling direction was also toward the parietal side. Finally, I closed the wound with primary closure. At the follow-up, one and a half months later, reactivation was simple. Remove the resin ball, tightening the power chain one loop and cut off the extra chain. By the fifth month, we could see the tooth erupting. But do you notice the side effects? Using dental anchorage, especially with only two teeth, caused the anchorage teeth to flay out and intrude quite a lot. To finish alignment, I switched to Damon low torque braces. It took only three months to align the teeth and seven months to remove the braces. Totally, this case took about 12 months for surgery, traction, and alignment. Let's compare this case using dental anchorage with that case using skeletal anchorage. In both cases, we used the close eruption technique for surgery. The only difference is that one used a mini screw for skeletal anchorage, while the other used dental anchorage. Both cases took about 5 months to bring the teeth out and make them visible. However, the mini screw was more efficient and had fewer side effects. For alignment, the skeletal anchorage case used clear aligners, while this case used fixed braces. And honestly, fixed braces were much more efficient. As Niels Bohr once said, an expert is someone who had made all the mistakes possible in a very narrow field. I am not encouraging you to accumulate painful experience or make mistakes. Learning from your own mistakes is a good thing, but learning from others' mistakes is even better and happier. I hope my mistakes and experience give you something useful for your own practice. I am Joshua. Thank you.